Thanks for letting me tag along on this workout. This was tough for me, and it was one day for half an hour. Yeah. You have to do this every day. What's that like? It's pretty tough, especially just because after I usually swim. I'm usually like pretty tired for this, and if my shoulders are hurting or my like hips are hurting from it, it's just a rough swim session. People get up and they don't want to go to work that day yeah. often. Do you at times get up and not feel like training? Yeah, there's definitely days where I'm like, Mm, not really feeling it today, and I think, especially in winter time. What do you think about when you are training? I usually like sing songs in my head, so like, I'll like <laughs> sing some Drake in my head or something like that. And when I'm training with Kylie Moss, who's like the world record holder and trains here in Toronto, we usually like, we'll like sing a certain part of the song when we're at the wall together, push off, come back, start singing again. Like, it's pretty fun. She's pretty much a beast in the yeah. gym. What's it like? for you guys to train with each other and push each other. It's pretty crazy just because Kylie's also so little. You don't expect her to be lifting the weights that she lifts. A lot of the time she can even lift like more than I can. And she definitely pushes me to want to be better because I want to like catch up to her and try and like see if I can lift more than her at one point. We were doing the medicine ball mm -hmm. and you embarrassed me. <laughs> you're, you're doing like LeBron bounce passes with the medicine ball. Have you seen the gains in your training as you start to attack it more? Definitely. I started like weight training when I was like 13, which is really young, but um, I think it kind of just helped me develop better. And so when I'm older, I can actually start lifting bigger weights and I already have that technique under my belt. You are the face of a major branding campaign. Have you gotten used to the modeling and the photo shoots? No, not at all. I like hate when there's cameras in my face and stuff. And when I did my I Move Me like shoot, it was definitely kind of weird for me just because I'm not a model, like it's not what I do at all. People are following you not just to see your training or your fashion. People are seeing that you're using your training positively. Is, is that something you think about being a positive physical role model for other young girls? That's definitely in the back of my mind. It's not something I always, always think about and not something I try to push too hard. I think it's nice to know that there's like girls that want to start swimming or want to start like a sport or something because of me. It's just important, especially in like, I feel like it's kind of an age where when you turn like 15, everyone's like, oh, I don't want to do sport because I don't want to like get bigger shoulders. I don't want to like get bigger arms or anything like that. So it's cool to know that there's girls that are like, okay, whatever, I'm just going to go for it. There's a couple levels for Canadian athletes. Being able to represent the country, winning a medal, and then when you get the tweet from the Prime Minister <laughs> congratulating know, that's you. Huge. When you have the PM in your mentions, what's that like? <laughs> it's pretty cool. He's a cool guy and I've met him a few times. He even like remembers me when I see him. He's like, oh, how's your family? I'm like, it's so weird because you're the PM, but you're asking me about like my parents. It's just like, it's random. When you're away from home, what do you miss about Canada? I miss like all the good candy and chips and everything. <laughs> Whenever I come home, I always try and get like a couple bags of ketchup chips and some Maynards and stuff. We're not even halfway through 2018 and you are got your sights set on 2020. Is it tough to have such a far goal? Yeah, I feel like it's definitely weird to be like, oh, I'm doing this for 2020. There's also the meets going up towards then. So Pan Packs this summer and Worlds next summer are just kind of build ups for them. And I feel like to me, it's not that far, but to everyone else, they're like, okay, you still have two years, like calm down. <laughs> everyone just thinks that everything I'm doing is just swimming. And especially when I did sign with ASICs and chose to partner with them, everyone was kind of like, why is she partnering with like a shoe company? Why like they do running shoes and training and stuff. and. It's like, no, a lot of it is outside of the pool, just trying to work those tiny muscles. Is it a 50-50 split? Um, I'd say it could even be like a little bit more on the training end, like outside of the pool, just because that's where you kind of work all your muscles and everything, because in the pool, it's basically zero gravity. There's not really a lot of muscle building you can do there. That's kind of what helps me with my racing, is just knowing that I have all that training behind me and that I've put in all the work in the gym and in the pool and everything. Going into competition, I have that confidence already built up that what's gonna happen and training is gonna happen here. You're so young yes. and I didn't expect you to be lifting what you could. Have you changed your mindset towards training since you've blown up uh, on the scene? I think I've definitely changed my mindset like recently. For a while I was kind of just like, okay, I'm going to training, I'm just doing it. I think what I've kind of learned recently is I'm going to be doing swimming and it's what I'm good at and it's given me so much opportunity and everything, so I might as well like love what I'm doing.